Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Welcome back to my channel. This is Ramya from Desi Girl 101. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my top five, uh, five or six favorite nude brown lipsticks for Indian skin tone. Now, if you are Indian, Pakistani, South Asian, Sri Lankan, Bangladeshi um, and uh, other genres, Malaysian skin tones. And if you want to look uh, perfect with that nude brown lipstick, so this is the right video for you and definitely subscribe if you haven't already if you enjoy this video so i will go ahead share swatches on my hands and on my lips as well so you know how the color looks like on me uh, but also keep in mind the lipsticks will look different based on your pigmentation of your lips so let's go ahead and get the very first lipstick i have is the milani color statement lipstick and these come in these gold tube packaging and this is not the matte collection that has just been released this is the regular milani lipstick collection and the shade is 29 teddy bear and the color is perfect actually in the tube that you see and the bo at the bottom of the lips that's how the color looks like so it's like a mauvey pink undertoned brown lipstick and it looks perfect on skin tones like mine so as you can tell it looks really perfect and it's a perfect perfect nude color for my lips and i absolutely love that this a really good um quality lipsticks for the drugstore for the price you find them and i think these are these are one of the best drugstore lipsticks um swatch wise selection wise and uh, finish wise and price point as well so that's the first one all right guys so the next lipstick i have in my collection is the jordana modern matte lipstick and these are about two or three dollars really inexpensive and these have been recently released i also showed you all the three lipsticks i bought from this collection in a separate video i will link that in the info bar below if you want to check that out i'll show you a swatch before i wear them on my lips this has definitely more hints of brown compared to the teddy bear lipstick by milani this has more pink undertones to it this has more brownie uh, kind of hint of orange lipstick in a uh, lipstick shade in it so but this is the lipstick i have and i absolutely absolutely love it you must check it out So as you can tell by the color, this has more brown tones to it and I feel this has a very very slight orangey kind of tone uh, to this lipstick shade as well and I absolutely love this color. Uh, there are days when I want a perfect uh, brown lipstick but I don't want it to be too nude like the uh, Milani lipstick. This is the lipstick I grab and I absolutely love the color. Alright guys, the next lipstick I have again is a drugstore option, very budget friendly and really long lasting. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Lipsticks. That's how the tube of it looks like. And these are about again 2 or 3 dollars and this is in the shade 913C. Um, I don't know what the name of this lipstick is. I will show the swatch. So it looks a little more darker, a little more, uh, a little more redder or pinkier toned than the uh, Jordana lipstick right here so you can see the color uh, difference right in these lipsticks and absolutely love this this is really long lasting very inexpensive it's a matte lipstick and it's available in the drugstore and a really budget friendly so that's how the lipstick looks on my lips and I absolutely love it it's my favorite I found this almost about one and a half or two years back in Kmart at Columbus, Indiana, I think. I absolutely love this lipstick. I love how it looks on my skin tone. I love All right, guys, so the next lipstick I have in my collection is yet another drugstore lipstick. Now, this is not the typical brownie uh, nude lipstick. This has a little hints of pink to it. And I didn't know if I, if I should film this uh, and show this in the pink category of my next series. But uh, nevertheless, I'm going to show you. And this is one of my favorite lipsticks. And this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. And I actually have a new favorite. Uh, I like the Raspberry Pi shade a little more right now. So this feels more pinky. So I don't know if I should show this in the brown lipstick category. But nevertheless, it doesn't transfer that shimmery on the lips anyway. So 
So as you can tell, it looks slightly pinkish, but it has a shimmer in it and it looks very rich, moisturizing and it looks like a perfect nude color for my lips. So I thought uh, the swatch looks, looks very pink, but it looks a little different on my lips. So that's a Berry Smoothie by Revlon Lip Butters. Alright guys, the next lipsticks I have are two high-end lipsticks and this is the MAC lipstick I have. And this is a matte collection uh, from the matte collection and this is the Viva Glam 3. And that's how it looks like. It looks a very deeper uh, when you look the, at the tube. But this is a really, really nice collection um, color I have in my collection. And it looks a little more deeper. And when you swatch it, it has hints of purple burgundy shades to it, but I actually apply a really light, a really light layer. God, I can't talk today. A really light layer. So as I mentioned, I don't do a dark swipe. If I do a dark swipe, it looks totally, totally different and I love that color as well. But when I want to wear it to my work and I want an everyday naturally lip looking color, naturally lip looking color i don't know what that even <laughs> means so but yeah anyways one of my favorite lipsticks and i'm so glad i picked this up i also got this for a bestie of mine and she loves the color so i'm very very happy and this again is the mac matte viva glam 3 and that's how the color looks like it's more darker so if you apply a really dark swatch i'll swatch it right here so it looks really dark. So that's the darker swatch and here's just a lighter swatch. So you can see the shade. I'm so happy. I, I love this lipstick. All right, guys, the last lipstick I have in my collection is the Bare Minerals Moxie lipstick. And this is in the shade Speak Your Mind. Uh, the color actually looks really, really light and uh, it's not like the perfect nude lipstick for my skin tone or for my pigmented lips. But what I do is I dab a very, very slight amount of it. So when you look at the lipstick right now, it's more like a bubblegum pink, right? So what I do is I dab my finger and remove a little of the lipstick. So it basically blends into my lip color. And then I top it off with this Tila Vinyl Lip Gloss, Stay All Day Vinyl Lip Gloss. Now I basically got this in my uh, lip set I got from Sephora from the, for the holiday collection. So so it looks like totally, totally different, right? This is a lip combination I was wearing in my Deepika Padukone Celebrity Inspired Makeup Look. And... Uh, So I totally tone it down and this is like the pinkier version of nude lipsticks in, um, in according to me. So anyway, this doesn't come under the typical brown family I just showed you. But this is something that you can go for a pinkier nude lip color. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you found some lip options. Always keep in mind that you can transform the lipstick color with a lip pencil or with a lip liner or uh, with a lip gloss or you can also tone it down by swiping the lipstick very very gently on your skin tone or remove the excess with a tissue paper. Please go ahead stay tuned and let me know in the comment section below what your favorite nude brown lipsticks are. I'm definitely a lipstick junkie and um, yeah I love picking lipsticks and lip lip glasses and all that stuff so stay tuned stay subscribed and i will talk to you guys very very soon you can also follow me on my social media sites like facebook twitter and my instagram page so i will talk to you guys very very soon bye